Cars today can be controlled from an app. Their AI assistant can help you find the best routes. Some even have cameras that detect whether you're too tired to drive. Those high-tech features also mean cars are gathering a lot of data about us. Vehicles can collect up to several terabytes per hour, which can be used to train algorithms and help innovation. In China, that's caught the government's attention. They realize data has national security as well as economic attributes. They need to um, have their hands on them. So after it announced strict data regulations on e-commerce and other tech companies, prompting a sell-off of many Chinese stocks this summer, China is setting new rules for the auto industry. This time, it's directly affecting foreign car makers, Tesla in particular. Tesla will work with national authorities in all countries to ensure data security or intelligence and connected vehicles. If you're a foreign company in China, you increasingly need to walk a high wire act. Tesla and others will be required to store a lot of data, for example, about traffic flow and charging stations inside China. Some automakers, including Tesla, have said they're prepared to do that. But cybersecurity analysts say authorities could now also ask companies to share that user data, changing the game in the world's largest auto market. I'm very confident that the future in China is going to be great. For many global car brands, China has been the most important growth market in recent years. Last year alone, more than 138,000 Model 3s were sold there. That's more than one third of global sales for that model. And Elon Musk is determined to expand further. China, I think, long term will be uh, our biggest market, but both where we make the most number of vehicles and where we have the most number of customers. But auto analysts point out that those growth opportunities hinge on the government's goodwill. I want to uh, very much uh, say thank you and appreciation for the Shanghai government and the support. And Tesla is particularly exposed. The American company's cars rely a lot on software, and its Model 3 was the best-selling EV in China last year. China has already restricted military staff and employees of key state-owned companies from using Tesla cars for fear of data leaks, according to people familiar with the matter. Tesla declined to comment. In the past few months, we've essentially seen a regulatory storm. Sam Sachs is a senior fellow at Yale Law School. She's been researching China's cybersecurity policy for about a decade. Foreign automakers, they're going to have to walk this dance between Beijing and D.C. And it's a high wire act navigating between pressure from Washington around decoupling with China, as well as increased pressure from Beijing. As tensions between China and the U.S. have grown in recent years, companies handling data have been caught in the crosshairs. In the U.S., tech firms including TikTok and Huawei have been targeted by government measures, while in China... Officials have stopped what was supposed to be the world's biggest IPO by fintech giant Ant, and have also stepped up control of tech companies, including social media conglomerate Tencent and ride-hailing giant Didi. Didi was investigated over national security concerns shortly after it listed in New York, sinking the company's stock value. Didi said it would fully cooperate with the review. They fall under this broader umbrella of the party tightening control. The party is trying to make the private sector better align and carry out its vision. So what do international car companies have to do after October 1st when these rules go into effect? Tesla said it had set up data centers in China to store locally all data generated by vehicles there. These new auto data rules are a game changer because it says, look, the operating environment is changing. While the requirements aren't really a surprise, since China laid out plans to increase control of data in a 2017 cybersecurity law, analysts say from now on, companies like Tesla could be asked to share private data with local authorities. Once foreign car makers moved to store data locally, they lost a lot of control. Um, yes, companies very often do push back on demands by the Chinese government to access the data, but the space to do that has been shrinking. Um, I think in part because of the spate of new regulations that show the government is prioritizing this data as very sensitive to national security. And the definition of national security is broad. According to the new rules, any information regarding military and government locations and logistics data, traffic or charging stations for electric vehicles, for example, is deemed sensitive and analysts say could be requested by the government. China's cybersecurity authority didn't respond to our request seeking comment. Tesla also didn't respond to our questions about how it would handle any such requests from authorities. Elon Musk recently said his company would address data security concerns. Data security is not only the responsibility of a single company, 
but also the cornerstone of the whole industry development. We also asked several foreign car makers, including Ford, BMW, and others, how they would handle such requests, but they didn't respond. Tighter rules in China are also expected to affect how companies work. Remember those algorithms that improve your car's features? They may be harder to develop for foreign automakers if data collected in China has to stay in China and can't be easily transferred to research and development centers around the world. If data has to transfer outside of China, then it has to go through a very specific security check process. Xiaoming Lu researches data governance. She says separating data for single countries means companies may end up working on some technologies twice or in parallel in two different places. This is a major challenge to their business model. This is very costly. This is not um, economical. This is the opposite of the most economical model. Tesla and other automakers didn't respond to our questions about whether this would impact innovation. So far, investors have largely shrugged off the changes. As Beijing's new rules come into effect, stocks of Tesla, Daimler, and other automakers popular in China have actually done pretty well, as demand recovers from its lows during the pandemic. In part, that's because the data affected by changes in China only represents one part of foreign automakers' overall business. And industry analysts point out that the Chinese market is simply too important for many companies not to comply. This is a bellwether of what's to come. If you're a company and you're not in the auto sector, but you handle a lot of data, this regulation is actually foreshadowing what's to come across all sectors in the Chinese digital economy um, in ways that could potentially impact all companies.